another way to find uh, a path between different cell stages is doing RNA velocity, uh, which is basically a summary of gene expression trajectories. And I'll explain uh, now. So RNA velocity works by checking the proportion of spliced and unspliced reads from your data. So in some cases, you, you'll have many reads from, from your FASTQ files that will map into parts of the RNA that are unspliced, so the intron regions. As you know, the RNA is converted from this uh, after transcription to this unspliced version of the RNA with the introns here. And after splicing, you'll have the spliced RNA. And then the RNA will also be degraded after uh, transcript, uh, translation. So the idea is to compare how much unspliced RNA do I have in a cell versus the spliced version of that same RNA. Um, and that's basically what is saying here. So the difference in the, the spliced version will be the unspliced versus the degradation of the spliced one. That means, so imagine that you have a cell, it starts producing a, an RNA, uh, let's say a differentiation factor. So the first uh, RNA that is being produced is this uh, unspliced RNA that has the introns. And after a couple of hours, the, you have the hour, the, or maybe a couple of minutes, right? You have the spliced version of the RNA uh, of the, in that same cell. So which cell will come before or after? Uh, if you pick those two cells, one has unspliced version more, and the other one has the more of the spliced version. So the unspliced version will come before because it's just starting to produce that RNA. And that can be also seen, for example, if you compare the, the respective spliced and unspliced version of the RNA here. So uh, first you see a, a shift in the unspliced version. So for example, here is down uh, regulation of that unspliced version. And then here you have a down regulation of later of the spliced version of the same RNA. And the same thing goes for any other um, uh, gene. So the unspliced version usually is translated before or increases before, and then the spliced version uh, reaches the same level. So this is just an, an idea to, to, to keep in mind. So basically, velocity is just trying to find where is my, the, um, the spliced version of my unspliced cell. So I can find a trajectory, like an uh, arrow, that points to that direction. Even for the next, uh, I don't know if I have, no, I don't have it here. But they, they, in this paper, they also checked for the next reads. And you can also find the unspliced version in there. Um, in, because you have also these uh, poly A runs in the middle of the splice regions where the poly DT also aligns. So you also get these, uh, these reads in the introns even for the next. And it seems, uh, according to their paper, it seems to work pretty well. Uh, even if you compare SmartSeq to, to the next. Yeah, I think you get better results if you have um, the next version 3, uh, the Chromium version 3, that you have more reads and more detection of, of reads compared to version 2. But not really, I don't know if you need to be sequenced deeply. Um, I'll say our SmartSeq version 2 and or, uh, or above, or version 3 now. and. Uh, and the next version three, I think. Do you have an idea also? How, I don't think it's usually done sequence more deeply, right? I mean, uh, if you see that you clearly do not have sequencing saturation in your 10x, uh, I mean, the, the most limiting step is uh, actually the reverse transcription, the detection rate you have of the method. But if you're not close to saturation in your sequencing for 10x data, I would sequence more to detect more uh, transcripts, basically. Mm -hmm. and more UMIs to, to have better coverage. Of course, it's always a trade-off. It works better with SmartSeq data, but it also works better with more cells. Yeah. So the cost of doing more cells with SmartSeq uh, versus <laughs> how much better gene detection, I'm not sure if it's really been evaluated properly. Mm -hmm. But my feeling is still that more cells is more important. Yeah. And one of the reasons of having more cells that also is mentioned is also having the intermediate cell states. 
and that allows you for this, the arrows to be pointing in the right direction. So comparing to the other trajectory methods, uh, RNA velocity now allows a biologically driven already identification of these uh, transitional and transcription trajectories. Because beforehand, uh, you find the trajectory or you fit your model trajectory in your data, but you need to point it out, this is the start of my trajectory because the model cannot know that. But now, since we have this identification of unspliced to spliced version, uh, now you can create these diffusion endpoints or the root, because now the root will always have more unspliced version of, the, of these transcripts than the, the spliced one. So you can define where actually it starts and where it finishes, because now the endpoints will have mostly spliced version of that transcript. Um, so then it's easier to define where it starts, where it ends, and where the bifurcation ends. So then the position of the, the splice is usually represented by these arrowheads. So here you have like in this map, you have like the origin cells are somewhere in here. And then you start having more velocity. So the velocity usually start, uh, is higher when you have the transitional cells. So that's also highlights the importance of having all the transitional uh, cell states in here. And then they start reducing velocity, let's say. So the, the other cells are close by in, in this direction. And then you see them bifurcating into different directions here. The same thing goes in, in this way. Um, this also works for cyclic trajectories. So since now you're not fitting any model, you're just setting for each cell where it should be the next cell stage of, of it. So you can see a, a clearly cyclic trajectory in, in this part. So here you have uh, cell culture from different time points to allow also to capture different cell stages. And then you can see their cyclic movement in, in this area. <clears throat> 